What's up guys, this is Fallout of Team Envious here, this time with a commentary on King of the Hill, Rustlung. Brand new game type to the competitive scene, uh, was just added to the hype Station settings and it's honestly a blast. I've talked about it a little bit in my past videos, but I just love how all the corridors are really close, a lot of sh close shotgun fights and really intense battles, but at the same time you can kind of set up and team fire, which I'm about to do right now, because of the way the angles work on this map. So it's a really, really good map, I love it, and this is a game against Ruffled Feathers, a uh, really good looking team so far, you know, I think they might surprise some people at Hypha Station next weekend. And uh, we're starting off right in the very middle, we're down by 50 points right now, however we're able to break their setup and take hill control. Um, I, pick, I see the eat grenades up, I pick that up, and right now I'm playing the objective role, just kind of grabbing the hill while my teammates are setting up in different areas. One thing that's really important when the hills and the ink grenades spawn is to hold that tunnel, which is up to my right. Um, uh, they actually get two guys rushing it because they know how important it is as well, so they're trying to break that. Luckily, I throw a good ink grenade to kill one of them because I hear my teammates calling out that there's two there. Take out one of them, and then they're able to take out the other one who's rushing down a tunnel by himself. Um, hill time is running out, so we're moving out to set up for the next hill, which we can predict is going to be at the next ink grenade because the hills are ready bent at frags and at the silverback spawn. Um, hills on Grusslung consist of the nades, silverback sp spawn, the two ink grenade spawns, and then the control room in the very, very middle. So right here, I grab their grenades, I push up. I see there's only one on the hill, so I'm able to get some nice grenades. reason I push is because I know my teammates are pushing to my right and uh, taking care of the guys crossing me. So I'm full red, but I still get their grenades off, get those kills. Fighting to inside the hill right now. Able to take them out. Once again, break their setup. Great job. Two times in a row breaking their setup. And uh, now, except it's, we don't have a setup yet, we're trying to break that guy out of hill. And uh, Nick calls to push for him. Except I see Nick and Prospect actually have that taken care of, so I let them do that while I'm holding the hill. Once again, playing the objective role and staying in the hill. So, two guys push from control room right away. They got a really nice spawn in that control room. And they're actually able to take the room. So I'm just trying to stay alive here while my teammates are crossing him. He calls that rough ride, ride now, is full red. I put a shot into him, down him as he hops over. Prospect finishes that kill. Once again, great team fire crossing for me. And um, right now I'm getting rushed by Snell's put a full shot in him, get him full red, and once again, team fire is just fantastic. We're able to down him. So that shows and uh, really expresses why team fire is so important in this map. You can really see different parts of the map. For, like, look at kind of how I'm team firing right now for the guys over there. Um, that did not able to get much damage in, but the angles are just awesome in this map. You know, really allow for great team, team firing and uh, great chemistry and great crossing and teamwork and whatnot. So um, that's a plus. Uh, another reason I really like this map. And actually, this game, I don't think anyone pressed the button for the silverback. And honestly, I th really think it turned out much better. You know, th without a silverback, not saying it shouldn't, it should be banned or any of that. But without a silverback, you know, the game, the map is just so geniusly designed that it's just so much fun. So right there, I push one versus one against Ceiling because I know I have teammates crossing for me. I get him full red. About to down him, but I get inked by my teammate, and then Prospect picks me up, so we're okay. But right now, I'm kind of chilling with the frag grenades. I know the hill's in the control room, so right now, I just want to stay alive at the frag grenades and put some support damage into the other uh, the opponents, which I'm doing right now. As you can see, once again, the angles on this map um, just goes to show, really, no matter where you are, you can help your teammates. You know, I'm, I'm all the way in the freaking corner of the map, and I'm still helping my teammates, so that goes to say something. Um, but once again, I just want to stay alive here. Nick takes the grenades, I take his smoke. Just stay alive, playing a support role from the nades, and that's actually something that's actually um, very important. I mean, I really think it's good to, when the hills in the control room have one guy back at nades, that one, a lot, make sure that they don't spawn at the grenades, because I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you're in the hill, where the hill is right now, the control room, and you don't have anyone at nades, they will spawn right behind you at their grenade spawn. I guess it's one of the flaws in the spawn system of Epic. But uh, right here, I'm actually running out of Lancer ammo, that's how much damage I'm doing. Um, but I'm, I call out there's a guy behind the pillar, I'm not sure why Prospect died there, he shouldn't have with my support, but he uh, kind of had a bad push. I take out Sunnels. I'm going to 1 versus 2 right now, trying to stay alive, do my best. I push up, body ceiling, but we actually trade kills, which is really unfortunate, because if I would have gotten that kill, I really would have put my team in a great position. But instead, they're able to take the hill. However, like I said, I kill 2. I call out right now that I'm dead. I say, you guys have a 3v2, take that. Called out that there's 1 in Silverback, which means they had a 3 versus 1 in the control room. They take that. And now, once again, everyone's alive. That's another thing. When you are dead, playing with t your team, your role as a dead member of the team is almost as important as your role as an alive member because right when you die you can press the back button, see how many are alive and dead, press right trigger to get a zoom out angle on the map and call out where people are and kind of direct your teammate, be the general of your team in that situation. So that's what I did right there. Always want to be calling out who's dead, how many are dead, because that really says, you know, it's a difference between if you have a 3v2 or a 3v3 is a huge difference. It knows, it helps you know whether you can push up or whether you can't push up. So, um, yeah, right here. Oh, sorry about that. Right here, though, 
Uh, the hills reset. It went to all four areas, so it's, we have a one in five chance to guess where the hills are going to be. And luckily, I guessed correctly, and the hills on me. So I was just hiding in that corner right there, trying to stay alive as best as I could. And uh, Sinos did not see me there as I threw the ink grenade at him and killed him. And then I get pushed by another one and down that guy. So. Great job by me staying alive right there. It's another reason why staying alive is so important. Because right there, if I would have just off my spawn, just rushed and died, they would have gotten that hill and they probably would have won the game. So, um, once again, it just goes to show value your life in King of the Hill. I guess if I can give you another tip, stay alive. Because having that extra teammate alive really does help. Right now, we're like setting up a fortress in this room right now with the double smoke grenades. Prospect tagged both of those, and uh, we kind of laughed about that because when one of them blows up, the other one's going to blow up too, so it's kind of useless. But um, it was funny, I guess. But uh, right here, I get naded, so I roll up, take the stun, which is okay because he's stunned as well, and I'm just kind of staying alive in the corner while my teammates are crossing and helping me, and they're not pushing up yet. Prospect calls one's coming behind us. Me and Prospect are in the most intense situation right now in a two versus three. We need to stay alive for this win. He takes out two. I take out the last one and save my save Prospect. Great job by me and Prospect just banging them out right there in a two versus three. If we would have died there, I, they would have had control of that hill, and uh, they could have made a nice little comeback. So right here, we know there's only a few seconds left. So we're just trying to get make sure that like stall the guys to make sure they can't get to the hill. But however, they come from the spawn and they also came from control room at both times. So uh, I get me and Prospect both get taken out. They get the hill, but my teammates are both working back in that hill. As I called out that there's two on the other side of the map. So right there, I just wanted to take the team's distraction while my teammates can take a 3v2 on the other side of the map. Um, and I just wanted to distract those two members as long as I can, which works. We get the hill and we win the game. So that does it, guys, for this edition of. Uh, it wasn't really an addition of anything. Um, <laughs> it was just a commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of that, kind of just talk about decisions that I make in game and talk over some gameplay. Rather than doing the highlights, rather than doing the ranked rampage, I wanted to spice it up and add some more things for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that helped out a little bit. Feel free to comment any questions you have, any suggestions you have, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, guys. A lot more where that's coming from. Hype Festation is coming up, guys, one week away. January 20th, going to be live streamed all weekend long at www.twitch.tv slash beyondgaming. I'll provide the link in the description, and uh, that tournament's going to be insane, guys. If you have ever played Gears of War, ever watched Gears of War, you should be watching this tournament. And I mean if you've touched the game once for two seconds. It's, it's going to be insane, guys. It's a huge, basically the staple Gears of War event once every three months, and this is going to be awesome. Professional commentary, professional production team. It's going to be great stuff, guys. 32 of the best teams in the world will be there. So tune in for that tournament. Hopefully we can take it and uh, come home with a W for you guys. I really think you know we're looking really good right now in a great spot, so hopefully that can happen. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it, and I will catch you all later. Peace, guys.